Oh, hi friends, how's it going? Uh, I'm a little sad today, if, if I'm being honest. It's been kind of a, a hard day for me. Well, it, it's me, Mr. Joey. It, it's good to see you guys, but if I'm being honest, I'm, I'm kind of sad right now. It's, it's been just one of those days where nothing has really gone my way. Nothing's really been going right for me the entire day since I woke up. Well, first, I was supposed to go play mini golf with my dad and you know, like a father-son adventure. It was gonna be awesome, I was excited. But then this morning, I looked everywhere and I couldn't find my golf clubs. And of course, that was, that was pretty frustrating. I, I looked everywhere, I, I mean everywhere, everywhere. And I, I just, I felt like I was never gonna find them. And then yes, I eventually did find them in the trunk of my car. But you know, that made me late. Then I was late to golf with my dad. Well, then there was the second thing. There was there was traffic. There was so much traffic. I felt like I was I was never gonna make it to mini golf, and my dad was just gonna leave without me. And then when I did finally arrive, I didn't have any of my golf balls with me. They 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 weren't in here. There was no golf balls. And well, like I said, none of my plans were working out. It was it was really frustrating. Have you ever felt that way? Like like none of your plans were going the way that you thought that they would? Oh man, that can be really hard. That can be really exhausting. You know, I bet Ollie would know what to do and I'm pretty sure he could share a really great story from the Bible with us that just might help me out. So we're gonna go do the things that we do every week. So first, we're gonna practice our memory verse. Then we're gonna sing and we're gonna dance to some of our favorite worship songs. And then we're gonna hear an awesome, true story from God's word. And then I'll be back in a little bit to say goodbye. See you in a bit, friends. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11.
Your sad, sad friend Peyton here. I was supposed to go play mini golf outside today, but when I woke up, I saw rain. I am sad because today is not going the way I want it to. Hmm. How can I play mini golf outside today, even though it's raining? I know! I can use an umbrella while I play! Well, I could put on all my rain gear to stay dry while I putt. What if I try to run around and around and around so fast that the rain can't catch me? Hmm. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Peyton. Who? Who? Is this rain bothering you? Yes, Ollie. The rain is ruining my plans to play mini golf. It's hard when plans don't go the way you want them to. But there may be a lesson for you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. <laughs> Hola, friends. I'm Luis, the handyman. Good to see you. Now, you would think being a handyman would make me pretty handy. <laughs> but I can't get the lid off this jar. It's really difficult. Well, actually, 
doing something difficult is what today's story is about. Do you want to help me build it? <laughs> Great! Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible is about a person named Joseph. Joseph trusted God and God had plans for him. Joseph also had a lot of older brothers. See if you can count them. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow! Ten brothers! Oh, that's a lot. One day, Joseph went to see his brothers who were taking care of the sheep. Uh-oh, look at the brothers' faces. Are they happy? Oh, no, they were mad and very jealous. They didn't like that Joseph was wearing a special coat that their dad gave him, and they didn't get one. And Joseph was talking and talking about the dreams he had had, and his brothers were tired of listening. So, they put Joseph into a hole and took his special coat. Oh, how do you think Joseph felt? That was so hard. But Joseph trusted God's plans for him. Then the brothers sent Joseph far away to the land of Egypt to work. Joseph didn't know if he would ever see his family again. Oh, it was so hard. But Joseph trusted God's plans for him. Joseph was a good worker and he did the right thing. He was such a good worker that he was given a bigger job. But then something bad happened. Everyone say, oh no. Ready? Oh no. People said Joseph did something bad that he didn't do and he was put in jail. That was so hard. But do you think Joseph still trusted God? Yes. Everyone cheer for Joseph. Yay! Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who has plans for you? God has plans for you. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who has plans for you? God has plans for me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Adios. So there's your story, and it's all true. Joseph trusted God's plans, even when it was hard to do. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Even when it was hard, Joseph trusted God's plans. We can trust God's plans too, no matter what. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. Instead of being sad about the rain, I'm going to practice hitting the ball. See you next time. Bye! Wow! That was an amazing story. We can trust God's plans no matter what. I can trust God's plans no matter what. And that brings me peace, knowing that God has plans for us, even if it seems like things aren't going my way. Oh, and that reminds me of our bottom line for this month. 
I'm gonna say who has plans for you and you're gonna say God has plans for me, okay? Let's try it. Who has plans for you? That's right, God has plans for you and for me and that just makes me so happy. Okay friends, let's go ahead and pray together. Dear God, we love to hear about the amazing people in your word that trusted you, that trusted in your plans to take care of them and watch over them. And we know that we too can trust in you because you are good and you always keep your promises. We love you and we thank you for this time together. In your name, amen. All right, well, I gotta go work on my swing for the next time I, I golf with my dad. So I'm gonna get going and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.